everyone in my family went to business school, and I'm like the weird, weird kid that went to art school. Um, so I have a lot of sort of support on the business side, not so much on the other side. <laughs> um, but yeah, it's just weird. It's like you know, again, going back to you, Mackay. Here's a guy who started a label and played in a band and did it, and that's I grew up with that. So it seems comfortable and familiar to to have that uh, mentor. When I was growing up, be such a positive mentor, and you know, I can't say he's just really one of the greatest human beings on the planet. You know, he's the kind of guy that remembers your name. You know, every time he sees you, there's no like, oh hey, what's your name again? You know, it's you know the his new band, The Evens, played Coachella a couple of years ago, and I was backstage and came right off the stage. And there's like all these you know, huge Red Hot Chili Peppers were there. They're all like, get all excited to see Ian McKay. And he walks right up, gives me a big hug. He's like, hey, Sid, how are you? What's going on? It just gave me chills. It just, he's just a fantastic human being. So when I grew up with that scene in that community in DC, it just seemed an easy sort of, that's how you do it. I never wanted to just be a bassist in a band. It seems so, I want to know everything about what's going on with my music and and so do my bandmates. They want to know every part of where their art is going. So we just, it just seemed natural. We want to know what the process is, the whole sort of, uh, the thing that gets us the most excited is exposing the apparatus of something. So whether it's art or music or business or anything, it's how does this work? You know, Tim, who's the singer of La Salle Five, is obsessed with taking things apart and seeing how they work and putting them back together. Um, you know, and it, it's just sort of a, a way of thinking about the world. How does that work? How does, why does it make that cool sound? Or, you know, so to not know anything about the business side is, is handicap shooting yourself in the foot. You know, when, when a band's like, I just want to play bass. It's my job, let's play the bass. I'm the bassist in the band. Like, dude, there's, so much going on around you that you should know about because it's your life. It's you're the one that's making that 12 hour drive, not your manager, not your lawyer, not your A and R guy. Your A and R guy sitting in an office in Hollywood, you know, getting coffees from interns and saying, "Yeah, you guys are awesome." Every once in a while, I get on a plane and fly around and say, "You guys are awesome." But you know, the band is the band. The band is out there working it. So you should know everything, every detail about how your record's being sold and you know, how you're being represented. Because you might be being represented as you know, a pop punk band and you think of yourself as a heavy metal band. So you need to know how, it's really important how you come across. To not know that is just kind of lame.